Hello, hello, and welcome. In this video, I'm going to cover the trades the price action pivoter V5 AI automated trading system had for the SPOOs, for ES, for February 5th, Wednesday. This system has been running since Monday. I have not rebooted it. It is running on five days of training data for the LSTM model, the proprietary LSTM model that is running the higher edge AI Python uh, script that is uh, part of the price action pivoter V5 AI suite. There it goes, it just produced uh, another uh, signal right there. So this uh, is essentially the trades that it took today at four trades, one, two, three, and four. Let me go back and discuss these trades very quickly so that you get an idea of what's going on. Then I'll show you the performance results for today and it'll also reflect the trades that it had yesterday and the day before because again, this system has been running live since that time, live simulated since that time. So the first trade, now guys, if this was not a SPOOS, this was not a futures instrument, this was not ES, if this was a stock, if you were trading something like Apple, Tesla, anything, Nvidia, if this happened to you right there at the top where there was a 15 handle move on this short potential entry right there, actually short entry right there, there was a 15 handle move right there, okay? But the stop got taken out right there. What would you say? This thing is rigged, right? The market maker has rigged this thing. It's rigged. They got in front of me. They, they front ran me, etc. And to your point, the stock market in many regards is in fact rigged. That is why when I say it is a really, really bad idea, and I've said that in other videos as well, to day trade stocks as they are not day trading vehicles. They are investment vehicles that you can hold for years or decades or whatever amount of time that you feel until it's going to uh, do some sort of a, a return for you, but they are not day trading vehicles. And so moreover, besides not being day trading vehicles like the futures instruments are, which were designed for speculative trading or hedging, um, you have negative tax implications with the stocks where you have a better tax uh, system for futures because they follow the 60-40 rule. If you don't know what that is, please look it up. And um, you also have the ability to be trading without any market makers when you're trading futures in a centralized exchange out of Chicago called the CME. That is a heartbreak. You have that in trading. Oh, well, the first one was a loss. That's a $500 loss right there. That's the second trade right there. It got stopped out because it is moving the stop. Uh, that's the third trade right there. Also got, when I say stopped out, it's actually booking the unrealized profit, okay? So let me go and minimize this. So that one actually got stopped out and hit the $500. This, the stop, the trailing stop kicked in and booked the unrealized profit. Here again, the trailing stop kicked in and booked the unrealized profit before it went down. Uh, of course, ultimately it went back up again, but that trade was also caught and it caught it right there. And once again, the trailing stop booked the unrealized profit. Okay, and that was until the end of the day. Let's take a look at the performance. Now, this is again for the last three days, so let's quickly analyze it so you see it. So, the performance had four trades, it was uh, up uh, 237 today, and yesterday was 1637. The day before that, it was 3750. It's been running live, and so this is the summary of it for the last three days. In essence, those are the metrics. Go ahead and take a look at that, guys. And also, let me show you the trade so you see it, and then I'll also review it. If you want to confirm this, you can check yesterday's video so that, or the video that I released previous to this video so that you can see the trades that it took yesterday on 2-4, February 4, 2025, and review those trades again. So those are the trades since February 3rd. All right, there we go. Since February 3rd until today, and those are the trades. So... And before I sign off, let me go and quickly show you the actual parameters that I've been using this entire week. So it's again, Monday through Friday, I've let it run. And it is looking for trades my time, 6.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time until 12.30. It's looking for long and short trades. And it is essentially here are my money management parameters, 5,000 on a net session profit limit, 1,000 on a net session loss limit, maximum number of trades is 20, consecutive loss is five. Here. Uh, is uh, the trailing stop uh, that I'm using essentially. It's the peak high low custom trailing stop. It's got 800 hard money. It's going to move the stop 50% away from the unrealized peak high or the unrealized peak low for the short trade. And then it has the AI factor as well. It's got 400 uh, hard money plus an AI signal, an adverse AI signal. So if I'm in a long trade, if I get an adverse 
uh, AI signal, then it's going to move the stop 50% away from the unrealized PK, and that's what happened uh, in today's trades. My profit target was 1,200, my risk was 500. These are the uh, Globex times that I have. You would change this, of course, if you're in Central Time, you're in uh, Eastern Time, etc., European Time, you're gonna have to change that, okay? Because these times reflect my times in Pacific Standard Time. Before I sign off, let's go ahead and quickly go over the actual hypothetical performance once again. So these are the trades for the last three days, seven trades, four trades, four trades, 37.50 uh, down, up 16.37, up 237. Those are the win rates, that's the max drawdown. All right, that's what we have so far this week. This is for the spoos, we're trading one contract. Until next time guys, take care of yourselves and God bless. <laughs>